Alright, this time I was able to get 5 points, which means I made it. So let's quickly talk about the elimination stage, and then send it with the playoff predictions right after Skins Monkey. Skins Monkey is an automated service that lets you trade skins instantly for a fee, sign up now, and get up to $5 bonus. Simply add items from your inventory, then find skins that matches your current balance. Site offers live support 24-7, you can also top up your balance if you're missing a few dollars, and there's a lot of skins to choose from. Visit my link down below to get to Skins Monkey. This stage of the Major definitely had some surprises, but for the most part followed the plot. Mouse showed up and played close games against Ecstatic and Eternal Fire just to beat Complexity 2-0 and secure playoffs. Speaking of complexity, they showed a strong performance at the start, even defeating Heroic heroically, but ultimately went downhill after that. At least they didn't get 0-3'd. But one team that did was Furia, which had an amazing run at the opening stage, but just couldn't get anything done here. Also sad to see Mongols going 0-3, but they did end up in the elimination stage, which they should be proud of. Going back to the 3-0 again, Team Spirit was probably the one team everybody expected to go 3-0, and delivered on that with a strong start against Cloud9, then just melting through Imperial like it's nothing, and ending Na'Vi with a 2-1. So overall, Spirit is the real deal. Now I picked FaZe to go 3-0 and I underestimated them by not expecting the FaZe that we all know, which means losing the first games just to get dangerous in the end. And they ultimately made it to the playoffs. Eternal Fire, they showed peak performance from this stage and they're very hot right now. Now this next story made me very upset, not because I picked VP to advance and not because of G2 winning, but because of a critical moment where James' PC crashed. This crash changed everything. Apparently Monezi revealed that they were supposed to save if they hadn't gotten a kill, which meant that VP might have won this round and perhaps the second map to secure playoffs. But instead, they get a freebie on Jaime, then they're able to retake the site, and this ultimately ends up going in G2's favor. They even beat them on the third map, which meant that they were the ones to secure playoffs. What happened was truly one of the worst technical incidents I've seen in a major, and it's truly heartbreaking for VP. Apparently the crash was caused by an NVIDIA driver, which seems a little odd to me, unless you've modified the driver, but okay. Not to mention the last map had a horrible display of another gameplay bug after the previous one we saw with Furia. Jesper made a video showing how bad it really is after the arms race updates, and of course, this exact thing happens at the Major. It's super frustrating that this even happens at this kind of level, and pro players such as Twist have expressed these concerns hoping for an update before the playoffs. It's possible that they'll look into it before Thursday, now that the bug appeared in a very important playoffs decider game of the Major. But now, it's time for the playoffs predictions. Please don't just blindly copy my picks and expect that to be a working formula. As a reminder, I didn't make it in the opening stage, but I will give you guys my thoughts on the teams, how they've played, and what the likely outcome might be. Starting with Cloud9 vs Vitality, which is the first match of the playoffs. Cloud9 has looked really good with their veteran players delivering as expected. Exile has really turned up and done amazingly. Overall, they've had good calls, good reads, and really not a lot of big mistakes. Vitality has looked a little shaky against weaker teams. Zaiwu has definitely seen better days. Apparently, he's not feeling well, so he might recover for the playoffs and play out of his mind. Although, they're still performing with Sphinx and Flames delivering, and they obviously have experience playing in this stage. But if I had to pick a team to win this, I would still have to go with Cloud9 in the end. Of course, anything can happen. Next game is Spirit vs FaZe. Now FaZe has Kerrigan, and Kerrigan is playing for his home country. This will obviously make the crowd go insane, but will that be enough? It's possible, but very unlikely with how FaZe has been playing. Still, FaZe are known for their comebacks and keeping it together at the most important times, but Team Spirit is currently on another level with good reads, great individual impact, and Donk doesn't even need to be a one-man army. So with that said, I'm going with Spirit on this one. Next up we have Eternal Fire vs Na'Vi. Now Eternal Fire as a team has played well, but some players have struggled against stronger teams, so it's hard to tell if they're going to manage against Na'Vi. But Na'Vi hasn't looked too clean either. They've relied a bunch of times on JL to clutch or to win key rounds, with the rest just not showing up with similar impact. But overall, they're stacked with experience. And of course, they've played in major playoffs in the past. On paper, Na'Vi is the better team. Thing is, it would be awesome to see Eternal Fire win and go through, but I still think Na'Vi is going to take this. For the final quarterfinal games, you have Mouse, who have recently shown a very strong side, all of their players delivering. In fact, three of the players were top rated at the elimination stage, so they're obviously doing something right. And G2 is, well, G2. They have the superstar power, but they fumble in the worst ways possible. 
and I think it's important for them that Monezi is delivering. They're not a bad team by any means, but they're not something special either. So for this game, I'm pretty sure Mouse will win. Okay, so assuming that I have these correct, which is a big assumption, but that's what I have to go with, Cloud9 would face Spirit. In this matchup for the semis, I would have to lean towards Spirit beating Cloud9. With these two versus each other, and the maps they play, Spirit just seems like the better team. For Na'Vi versus Mouse, I think it's more likely that we'll see mistakes out of Na'Vi, so I'm going to lean towards Mouse winning this semis, if this matchup even happens. And for the finals, we have Spirit vs. Mouse, if all stars are aligned. On one hand, Spirit are in excellent form with great calls, great reads, and great performance across the board. On the other hand, Mouse is in a very similar boat. It really goes down to who is able to outplay who, but in the end, I've made my decision. I'm going with Spirit to win the major. Alright, let me know what you guys picked down below. As you probably have guessed, I am not feeling well right now, so sorry for that. Remember to pick all the way to the finals or your picks won't count, and hope you enjoy the major playoffs. Peace.